Oh, there's actually a little bit of a... When the user enters cancel, it still exits. Hmm. One, one second, guys. Ah! Save, save, and quit. Save, else. Control Shift F. Yeah, that's right. Uh, save, then quit. But what if the user cancels the save? Oh, man. Don't tell me we're actually going to have to. We might have to copy and paste this because this system exit needs to be inside this file name not equal to null. But I also don't want to make file name global. Uh, you know what? Fine. Fine. Let's make it global. Let's say, let's create a string. Let's create a string here. Private. I really don't want to do this, but I guess I have to since I did say that. I did say that um, when you're when when another method needs to see a uh, an object. So, for example, inside our save method, we have a file name, but our save and quit method also need to see that that object, but they can't because they don't have access to it. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and put it on top. Make sure you delete that string. Now, we're only going to exit if our file name is null. If, sorry, if our file name is not null. If file name is not equal to null, we're going to system.exit. And again, it's, it's, and again it's, it's only one line of code after the if statement. You don't need to put brackets in there since it's only one line. But I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that. So let's actually run our application again. And I'm sorry if I'm going through this quite fast. I do have somewhere to go, and I know you guys already don't know how to do all these things. But so save, save as. Um, let's see. Um, test, save test. Okay. Wait, is that it? Oh, yeah. And you have to make sure that the file name ends with the .ser. So just go here and say plus dot ser all right now, I'm not sure if you if you actually need this but just put it in there just to be safe now run it again let's actually add a book fine book add book to library I'm gonna save it test okay let's actually save and quit oh okay that's pretty cool um what we can do is when we press right okay I got it now we have a file name here where is it file name we're just gonna go to our init attributes and just set file name equal to library and this is going to be a default value. Now this isn't necessary, but this is what I'm going to do. Um, you know what, guys? Forget it. Forget it. My bad. Just forget, forget, forget that part. All right. And I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but just bear with me. I'm not. I'm not trying to confuse you guys. All right. Now, if we run our application again and press save and quit, uh, test number, I don't know, test number two. Now it quits. However, if we run our application again, then we say save and quit. Okay. Well, 
it still does that. That's because an empty string is not null, it's just an empty string. But if you press save and quit and you press cancel, it shouldn't exit our system. There we go. Save and quit, cancel, save and quit, canceled. Now if we go on over to our package explorer, you should see those files. Again, click on library, F5 for refresh, and now we have these two files. And as you can see, we don't we don't see the uh, our uh, empty file name in here. If you just press OK and there's you didn't put anything here, the system still exits. But when you're creating this file over here, it says empty space dot ser, and I guess that's not allowing us. It doesn't actually create the file for us. So what we're gonna do is, if the user presses save, presses OK in our save dialog and he didn't and there's nothing there but spaces or an empty space what we're gonna do is detect that so if the file name is not equal to null and and nothing and pressing OK returns an empty string but it's not null what we're gonna do is go inside this if statement so that means our file name is not equal to null so if if um, file name dot trim dot content equals remember to use content equals because what we're gonna do here is basically compare if our file name dot trim is equal to an empty space is not equal to it Remember, don't do this. You're going to be debugging all day long. You're going to be wondering why the hell is this not working? Now, even even the most experienced programmers get caught up in this, and they try to find a solution to a simple problem, and it's really no problem at all. It's not an error or anything. It's 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 really not an error, but you know, people will just debug and and just and just wonder why the hell is my code not doing what it's what I wanted to do it's it's probably because you're comparing two strings again using this method never do this when comparing objects never compare objects with these conditionals never compare objects with these conditionals it's a tip for you guys so again we're gonna use content equals if the content of the string equals this empty string we're gonna do is just do this whole thing which actually creates our serializable object for us serialized file now if sorry we need to put a not here we're only gonna do this if we're only gonna save if our file name is not equal to empty space However, if our file name is equal to our to the empty space, we are just gonna do the exact same thing here. And on our sorry, not else, but finally. No. Hold on, am I putting it inside? Ah, yeah. Else, make sure that this is outside our if statement. Outside this if statement, inner if statement. Let's just check. It's outside. It's supposed to be outside here. All right. Control Shift F. 